Meet Natasha Kolviwa, a brilliant 16-year-old high school student whose passion for suicide prevention led her on a deep scientific expedition. She discovered that suicidal tendencies may actually be more than just psychological. She points to potentially more effective treatment strategies in the future. In a prestigious international competition, Natasha emerged victorious, securing a $50,000 college scholarship for her revolutionary research on suicide prevention. Suicide prevention is so unbelievably important because every 40 seconds, someone's life is taken from suicide. The better we can understand this and what causes it, the better we can attack that and find the root cause to save countless lives in the future. Unlike conventional studies, Natasha's investigation delved into the neurobiological aspects of suicide, seeking to identify critical biomarkers within the human brain. These biomarkers are little molecules that give us helpful signs on an abnormal condition or a disease. For six months, she dedicated herself to meticulously studying the brain tissue of individuals who tragically died by suicide. Natasha's discoveries were nothing short of groundbreaking. She observed remarkable differences between the brains of those who died by suicide and a control group of individuals who passed away due to other causes. Specifically, the brain tissue of suicide victims exhibited higher levels of inflammatory cytokines. These substances can lead to excessive inflammation under chronic stress or other conditions. This can result in adverse health effects like heart disease, cancer, and autoimmune disorders. But Natasha's research didn't stop there. She honed in on a specific protein in the brain called Claudin-5. This is typically found in cells forming the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier plays a crucial role in regulating the passage of substances from the blood into brain cells. Surprisingly, Natasha discovered elevated Claudin-5 levels in other areas of the brain, such as neurons and microvessels, indicating a breakdown of the blood-brain barrier in individuals who died by suicide. This breakdown could potentially allow foreign agents from the bloodstream to enter functional brain regions, causing neurotoxicity and increasing suicide risk. These findings are more than a simple correlation. They propose Claudin-5 as a potential biomarker to identify individuals at risk of suicide. By recognizing suicide as much more than just a psychological issue, Natasha's research has so much potential to give us more insights, more possible resolutions, and this could lead to more accurate risk prediction and targeted pharmaceutical interventions. As incredible as this is, much more extensive research needs to be conducted. We also need to do this with much larger sample sizes. We really have to be sure to scientifically validate these findings in many different areas. An esteemed neurobiologist commended Natasha's work, but advised interpreting the results as correlations rather than causations, suggesting that underlying fundamental abnormalities may be at play. I knew several people who have taken their lives and one of my closest friends from years ago actually took his own life as well. So this hits really, really close to home. And I think this is just absolutely incredible. Discovering that suicidal ideation could be more than a psychological phenomenon means that more funding and research can go into this, which will result in more unbelievable findings. Natasha's research results have the potential to save countless lives in the future and help people move forward from their darkest moments. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of Natasha's work. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jeff and my goal is to make psychology make sense. I appreciate you hanging out today. Natasha's dedication and passion have generated her well-deserved recognition and prestigious awards. Natasha's remarkable study provides so much hope in the fight against suicide. This transcends the psychological realm and ushers in a new era of neurobiological understanding. Her pursuit of knowledge doesn't just stop there. She plans to investigate how medications, including anti-inflammatories, interact with Claudin-5 in animal models, hoping to shed light on alternative treatments for suicide risk. I'll be sure to link her pages below so you can take a deeper dive into all of this with her. 
She was also courteous enough to be willing to hop on and share a message with you all. Hello, it's Natasha. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to view this video and also to Jeff for having me on his channel. I really, really appreciate it. I wanted to let everyone know that I'm still continuing my research and I'm working to extend upon my findings last year and I'm working with my lab to double the sample size and I'm also further investigating the role of DNA methylation and genetics. I wanted to leave off by saying that from the very beginning of my research, my goal has always been to promote more conversations about suicide research and mental health in general. I think it's really imperative and it's important to me that we have more awareness and attention to these issues and hopefully my findings supporting the notion that suicide isn't purely a psychological phenomenon but it has more of a neurobiological underpinning behind it and this can help lessen the negative stigma around it so that we can hopefully have more research, funding, and action so we can all work together to help stop this growing epidemic that's it for me and once again thank you so much if you or someone you know is experiencing depression or has had thoughts of harming themselves or taking their own life remember that help is always available in the u.s call or text 988 to reach the suicide and crisis lifeline providing 24 7 free confidential support for those in distress alternatively text home to 741741 for support through the crisis text line. Resources are also available through the International Association for Suicide Prevention for all those outside of the U.S. Remember, you're not alone and there's always help and hope available. If you're interested in other topics in psychology, be sure to check out my last video on Oppenheimer and the Trolley Dilemma. So for all things psychology to help you think, feel, and perform better, stay tuned right here on Psychology of Living.